The criminal justice system affects millions of people from almost every walk of life. Newsy has partnered with The Marshall Project to bring you a series of stories about the criminal justice system in America and how it impacts everyday Americans. Tonight, episode two of We Are Witnesses. I remember being harassed one time. I was coming from church. I was probably 14 or 15. I had a Game Boy in my pocket. These detectives on the cover jumped out the car, guns drawn. They were like, take your hand out your pocket. And I was so scared because I didn't know if I was going to take it out. They would shoot me. And there was a lady from my church. She started screaming, he's a kid, he's a kid. You know, I think that probably saved my life that day. My name is Tarif Richards. I served as a correction officer for eight and a half years. I wanted to be a part of law enforcement because as a young black man, I feel like if you can't beat them, the best way to do it is to join them. Working in corrections as long as I did, we always, you know, we give each other nicknames. And um, my coworkers and, you know, some of the inmates, they know me just for always singing. Always singing, always singing. However, if there's a situation where uh, what that prompts me to react in a manner to defend myself, I'm, I'll eagerly defend myself. So they coined the phrase, sing and swing. <laughs> I don't think correction officers get the respect that they deserve. You wake up every day and you go inside of a jail and deal with people who no one else wants to deal with. A lot of guys are facing life. Sometimes they know they're guilty. They have nothing to live for. I remember my first day inside of Rikers Island, out of the academy. The first thing you smell was just funk. Jail funk, we call it. It smelled like a combination of underarms and socks. I remember walking in the areas and everyone is looking at you because they know you're new. Your belt is, your belt is shiny, your, your equipment is shiny, your shield is super polished. And you know, they start messing with you. I was alone with 50 guys on one side and 50 on the other side. So it was me and 100 guys. And I was walking and I just felt a cold thing on my shirt. A guy had squirted me with urine from out of a toothpaste can. That got me ready for what jail really was about. This particular day, these guys were fighting over a telephone call. A guy swings, hits me. I had to fight my way out of the housing area. When there are riots, you're always outnumbered. We're not armed. Uh, we have pepper spray. You know, that's assuming the pepper spray works. These guys are so used to it, it's just like, they just fan it off and continue fighting. I've gotten some nice lumps on my face, fighting, defending myself. I've gotten cut on my, my right arm with a homemade razor blade. I've had a broken right hand. I can't, you know, do simple things as like simple tasks like to scratch my back or, you know, to reach the back of my neck is very, very trying. I've had um, coworkers who've killed themselves. Um, there are a lot of coworkers who rely on alcohol to get them through their, their life after corrections or while they're on the job. It's very stressful. It's very stressful. 